AirPods Pro 3 and new Powerbeats Pro, heart rate sensors, health tracking, and Apple's secret fitness strategy in 2025 it finally happened. A new generation of Powerbeats Pro is quietly launched, and although Apple didn't give it a flashy keynote moment, it's been making waves especially because of one surprising feature. Yes, there are new colors, improved ergonomics, and the usual Beats flair. But what's really got the tech world buzzing is something we've never seen on Apple. Headphones before a built-in heart rate sensor. That's right, Apple's iconic workout-oriented wireless earphones are now health trackers too. And here's the kicker. This move may be a sneak peek into what's coming to the AirPods Pro 3, which are rumored to launch in late 2025. Today, we're diving deep into what this update really means. How it could shake up Apple's entire wearable strategy. Why health tracking is at the center of their next evolution and how AirPods might eventually replace your Apple Watch in ways nobody expected. Powerbeats Pro 2025, same look. But one game-changing addition to the new Powerbeats Pro haven't made headlines in the same way. AirPods updates usually do. Apple didn't dedicate an event. And you probably didn't even realize they launched unless you follow tech blogs or scan the Beats section in the Apple Store. On the surface, it looks like just another routine refresh. There are bold new colors including an energetic burnt orange and a sleek forest green. Plus minor refinements in audio quality and fit. Nothing revolutionary, right? But then there's the heart rate sensor, tucked discreetly into the earbuds. And that single component might represent a much bigger shift in Apple's overall strategy than any flashy redesign could. This is the first time Apple has put a biometric health tracker in a pair of wireless headphones. It's more than a gimmick, it's a signal dot by including heart rate monitoring in a non-watch device. Apple is showing that it's finally opening the door to health tracking beyond the wrist. That's significant, especially considering how long Apple has tied fitness data collection strictly to the Apple Watch. If this feature is well-received in Powerbeats, there's a very real possibility we'll see it expanded and improved on. The AirPods Pro 3. Why is Apple adding health tracking to headphones? Apple knows that wearables are its next big frontier. In fact, it already lumps AirPods, Apple Watch, and Vision Pro into a single wearables, home, and accessories category in its earnings reports. But within that group, the Apple Watch has always been the go-to device for fitness and health. Tracking. Want to close your rings, track your heart rate, count your steps, burn calories. You needed a watch. But here's the problem. Not everyone wants to wear a watch. Whether it's personal style, comfort, or practicality, especially in intense workout environments, many people prefer their wrists to be free. Watches can get sweaty, scratched, or even caught on gym equipment. This is where headphones step, and Powerbeats have always targeted athletes and fitness enthusiasts. With their hook style design and sweat resistance, they were clearly made for movement. So, by adding heart rate sensors directly into the Powerbeats Pro, Apple is acknowledging a truth that's avoided for years. Some users want to track their health without wearing an Apple Watch. And by embracing this, Apple is potentially setting the stage for a more modular, flexible approach to fitness tracking one that lets users choose how and where they want to collect their health data. Why? This matters for AirPods Pro 3. Here's where it gets really interesting. For months, there have been whispers of Apple working on biometric sensors in future AirPods, with specific references and patents to heart rate detection body temperature sensing, and even respiration monitoring. The Powerbeats launch is possibly Apple's first test run a quiet experimental rollout to measure consumer response before scaling up to a flagship product like the AirPods Pro. So what could this mean for the AirPods Pro 3? Expected to arrive in late 2025. Heart rate tracking built in just like the new Powerbeats Pro. The AirPods Pro 3 may include optical sensors or even infrared photoplethysmogry. PPG technology to monitor your pulse directly through your ear canal, which is actually more accurate than the wrist in some studies. Workout insights without a watch for users who don't want or own an Apple Watch. The AirPods Pro 3 could offer real-time fitness tracking while listening to music or podcast. Giving feedback like your heart rate is elevated or you've hit your fat burning zone. Head-based activity recognition AirPods already include accelerometers and gyroscopes for features like spatial audio and head tracking. With the right algorithms, these sensors could also estimate step counts, workout types, and calories burned. Body temperature and respiration monitorings Everall Apple. Patents mention temperature sensors in AirPods. Imagine your earbuds alerting you when you're running a fever or breathing irregularly early signs of illness, fatigue, or dehydration. Then there's privacy and data sensing. Apple has always emphasized that health data stays on device and encrypted when sensed to a cloud. 
but if AirPods are collecting more granular biometric data, will users be comfortable with that? Expect Apple to heavily emphasize on-device processing and to-end encryption and user consent when unveiling these features. Apple's services revenue strategy behind it alters the hidden layer. To this whole strategy, Apple's growing. Services revenue. The more health data you collect, the more useful Apple's ecosystem becomes. Whether it's Fitness Plus, a Cloud Plus, or the rumored Apple Health Coaching Service, all this biometric data becomes the foundation for personalized recommendations, workout suggestions, and monthly subscription nudges. Let's say your AirPods track your heart rate during a run. That data syncs to your iPhone, fills in your rings, and nudges you to subscribe to Apple Fitness Plus to keep the streak going. Then your iPhone runs out of storage, and you're prompted to upgrade to a Cloud Plus. It's all part of a carefully constructed flywheel of hardware and services designed to maximize engagement and revenue. Apple has long understood that health and fitness equals recurring income. That's why these incremental upgrades matter. A heart rate sensor in your earbuds isn't just a fun feature. It's a gateway to the next tier of the Apple ecosystem. What about those patents with cameras and AirPods? There's another weird twist in the story. Apple's patents for AirPods with built-in cameras. Yes, you read that right. Several filings suggest Apple is exploring optical sensors, photo detectors, or even low-res cameras in future AirPods. What could those be used for? Head and face positioning for spatial audio and environmental awareness gesture control scan textual audio. Processing some wild theories suggest they could even assist vision-impaired users by detecting obstacles or text in the environment. More realistically, Apple may use them for things like gesture recognition for example, nodding to accept a call or shaking your head to skip a song. Combined with onboard machine learning, this could open the door for a more natural, hands-free interface. While cameras on earbuds still sound far-fetched, keep in mind that Apple has already added LiDAR to iPads and a full mixed reality interface to the Vision Pro. AirPods might not be far behind in terms of contextual spatial awareness. Will this hurt Apple Watch sales? This is a fair question. If AirPods Pro 3 can track heart rate, estimate workouts, and sync with HealthKit, won't it cannibalize the Apple Watch? Possibly, but Apple has shown time and time again that it's willing to cannibalize its own products to grow a category. Overall, dot remember when the iPhone cannibalized the iPod or when the iPad started eating into MacBook sales. Apple isn't afraid to sacrifice one product if it means dominating a larger market. In this case, wearables as a whole will continue to grow and Apple just wants to be at the center of every form factor. And since Apple groups AirPods and Apple Watch revenue together, it doesn't matter to shareholders which product wins as long as the wearable revenue keeps going up. Final thoughts, the future of AirPods is about more than just sound in the end. It's clear that Apple doesn't see AirPods as just headphones anymore. They're positioning them as personal health companions, productivity tools, and extensions of your digital identity. The Powerbeats Pro heart rate sensor is likely just the beginning. With the AirPods Pro 3, we might get a fully featured, health-conscious, workout-optimized, privacy a forward wearable that just happens to also deliver best-in-class sound. And that changes everything. Dot. So what do you think? Are health-tracking AirPods something you'd use? Would you trust your headphones with your biometric data? Do you think they'll ever replace the Apple Watch or just complement it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you have any feature ideas for AirPods Pro 3, drop them down there too. From temperature sensors to gesture-based controls, there's no shortage of possibilities. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into Apple's next moves. This is your go-to channel for everything AirPods, Apple Watch, iPhone, and beyond.